Huh? Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm that one cat, and today we're drawing Isabelle from Animal Crossing, one of my favorite games of all time, I'd say. I think I can put it up there. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to draw her as a human, as an anime human, uh, cause she's, she doesn't look like this in the game. She's a little poodle, I think? I think she's a poodle, I don't know. Um, she's one of my favorite characters from Animal Crossing. I've played a few of them. Uh, New Leaf is definitely my favorite though. But the first one I ever played was on GameCube. I think that's the first game. And uh, it's just weird. These games are really weird because on paper they just... They don't seem like they would really be that interesting. I think Ego Raptor's animation about them uh, really sums it up. So if you, if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's uh, Awesome Crossing, I think? I don't know. Happy Awesome? I don't know what it is. but. Look up Ego Raptor Animal Crossing. He he does like a really good animation about it because on paper these games seem boring. You know, you come to a town, you're in debt to a crazy raccoon man or no, what is he? He's not a raccoon. He's a uh, Tanuki. He's a because Tom Nook is like a play on words for Tanuki. Um, he's a raccoon dog, and uh, he 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 makes you a house and you owe him tons of money and you have to shake trees and pick fruits and. Try not to go insane from the crazy neighbors you live with, and uh, it's just a cool, it's a cool premise, but it just doesn't seem like it would be that interesting. And I remember my friend let me borrow it because he bought it for GameCube, and he was like, "This game's really stupid. It's really boring. I'll, I'll let you borrow it because I don't know. I don't really want it." And I was like, and he explained it to me, and I was like, "This game sounds really stupid." And because we're, you know, we were young, we're used to the to the action games and the fantasy games and the shooting and the killing and the maiming and all that stuff and this game just sounded like not gonna be interesting you know to a young a young kid and uh, I started playing it and right off the bat I was like yeah this is really boring this is kind of a stupid game I don't know who whoever thought this would be fun and then like six hours later I'm like why am I still playing this game there's just something about them that really draws you in and uh, the characters are interesting and the tasks uh, although they are mundane I don't know there's just something fun about the repetition there's almost uh, it's almost like comforting in a way like when I boot up Animal Crossing it's almost like this like comforting thing like you're coming home you know and uh, it's cool to see your neighbors and like a game that continues on even when you're not playing it just like shocked my young mind like you turn the game off but the game is still going, like, the characters still have lives, and, like, time still passes, and I just thought that was fascinating. I don't think before that I'd ever played a game like that before. I mean, one of my favorite elements in games is the day-to-night transition. I love games that, like, like World of Warcraft and, and, like, other MMOs like that, where there's a transition between day and night. I don't know why, that just, like, really draws me in, but... I mean, this game took it to a whole nother level, like, like, years go by, and there's holidays and stuff, and, like, all the holidays sort of, like, mimic our holidays in a way, and it's just so cool, like, I, there's just something amazing about this game, and, uh, I'm really excited for the Switch, the Switch version's gonna be crazy, I'm gonna lose a lot of hours, I'm gonna lose a lot of sleep, my productivity's gonna decline, but it's, it's such a fun game, if you've never played Animal Crossing, definitely, definitely check it out, because it's good. It's a good time. It, it definitely takes some getting used to. Um, you might be turned off by it at first, but if you ever played Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley or anything like that, I think you'd definitely like uh, Animal Crossing. It's cool. It's a cool thing. I, I can't think of any game that's that's close to what it is. But yeah, anyway, here I am shading her boobs. I'm coming in at a good time here. Um, I went back to vector shading, so a lot of the shading is just very solid color um, it's a little soft I tried to draw a background here because the the world in Animal Crossing is kind of like spherical almost like that one planet I think Kami's planet with bubbles the uh, the gorilla you know what I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z no okay <laughs> the world sort of has like this really uh, intense curve to it almost like the planet is completely or obviously it's completely round but you, you know what I mean like it's really small uh, so it gives you this really cool perspective, so I tried to draw a background that had like a cool perspective to it, but uh, as you can see I gave up and I just drew uh, weird bubbles in the background. I don't know what I was thinking with that one, but yeah, I, I'm trying to focus more on just like figure drawing and just drawing the character. So I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy with the backgrounds because like I'm always trying to think of something cool to have in the background. It just, I don't know, I think it detracts from what I'm trying to do. 
So I hope you don't mind that most of my drawings probably won't have a, a really crazy background. Sometimes I'll, I'll add one, but yeah, I like how this turned out. Look pretty cool. I like Isabel. She's the real, she's the real mayor in my eyes. She's the one who takes care of everything. She's she has the thankless job of running the town basically. But yeah, uh, she's awesome in Super Smash Brothers. If you haven't played that, you should definitely check that out. That's a really good one too. Nintendo really hitting it out of the park. Uh, the past couple of months or year, I don't know. They've been coming out with some really good stuff. The Switch has been awesome. Uh, so if you haven't picked one up, this uh, this is not sponsored by Nintendo. I just I really like Nintendo. But yeah, if you guys want to see me draw anything else, um, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and Instagram and my Twitter and all that other stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.